Hello and welcome to another NBA 2K16 video. Playoff matchup clips. And, bla and Blazers. One second, they have me on the Blazers, and I don't want to be the Blazers. I want to be the Clippers with Chris Paul. All right. So, this is the playoff matchup today. It's 2 1 for the Blazers. All because of this man right here, Dame Lillard. Dropping dimes everywhere. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Like he doesn't care. Alright. But I think the best point guard in this game, in this series, is Chris Paul. Regardless of what you say, Chris Paul has the resume. The big shot taker, the big shot maker. Uh. Anyways, um, so a lot of people, you know, might be wondering, like, why my name is... It's a Wahed Gaming. You know, like, maybe a few people. Maybe, like, two people are wondering. 18 people probably just, like, thought and didn't give it much of a second thought. Chris Paul, big shot taker, big shot maker. Anyways, that's my last name. Uh, it's an Arabic name, but I'm not Arab. And I'm definitely not a terrorist, if that's what you're thinking. And let's be honest. Like, the terrorism is not a Muslim problem. It's more like a certain area... Of the Middle East problem, like Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, like that's kind of where it happens. Like where I'm from is Bangladesh, and you know it doesn't happen. Bengalis are too lazy, you know, to be involved in any terrorist activity. They'd be like, it, this is what would happen if a Bengali guy, a guy from Bangladesh, joined the ISIS. They'd be like, listen, Hafiz, ah, I need you to uh, blow up the capital tomorrow at 2 p.m. And then it'll be like 3.30. And then ISIS will be calling him. Calling him, calling him. It's like, hey, Aziz, where were you? The people are still standing. And he's like, oh, man. Sorry, man. I overslept, man. I got like three missed calls. I think my phone ran out of battery. <laughs> like, that's what happened. Can we do it tomorrow, maybe? You know what? I'm really not feeling this whole thing anymore. That's pretty much what would happen. Anyways, back to the topic. Chris Paul, big shot taker. Big shot maker. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Alright, and after this, I'll do uh, Kemba Walker. And the Charlotte Bobcats. Against Miami Heat. And D-Wade. Or D-Wade and the Miami Heat. You know, if D-Wade had Chris Bosh... They're probably doing worse, actually, to be honest. That's what I, would, I think. Because Chris Bosh is kind of soft in the paint, and he changes the style. Like you, you know, like if you have Dwight Howard, you play a certain style. If you have DeAndre Jordan, you play a certain style. If you have Bosh, you play a certain style. But like when you have a big guy like Hassan Whiteside, Bosh, get out of here. Uh, dropping dimes, dropping dimes. I, I would have played Jamal Crawford, but, like, he doesn't start. Ooh, Chris Paul. Big shot maker. Big shot taker. So, um, a lot of people say Chris Paul is not as good as Steph Curry. But that's just hype. First of all, Steph Curry doesn't have tower, 10 seasons under his belt of, like, of all-star caliber. First of all, before Steph Curry can be mentioned... With Chris Paul, he needs to, you know, he needs to put in some time. You know what I mean? You can't have one or two good seasons, even three good seasons, and be up there with Chris Paul. That's like me scoring 20 at the gym and being like, like in a pickup basketball game, being like, oh, I'm as good as Michael Jordan. Because, you know, he averaged 20 in his last year. And I, I had 20 in one match. So pretty much if you look at the numbers, we're the same. I mean, that sounds like some shit I might say, but, you know, it's not true. Blake Griffin. And, you know, another on the Chris Paul thing, does anybody know whether Cliff Paul actually exists? <laughs> like, you know, there's times when you look at Chris Paul, like, I mean, Cliff Paul, and you're like, yo, is he real? Like, is that a real sentimental family story, or did they just make that up? No, but, like, 
for a while, I wasn't sure whether Cliff Paul is, but you know, he's obviously Chris Paul doing Adam Sandler's Jack and Jill thing. How do you set, does anyone know how to set a pick? Let me just, let me just look that up real quick, because I, I, I've been trying to do picks for like the longest time. Options. Oh, okay. Options. Control. Here we go. Uh, passing. I also need to do alley oop. Double tap triangle. Okay, that changed that. Uh, advanced offense. Basic pick control. Press and hold L1. Alright, there we go. So we're good to go. Come set a pick. Nice. Okay, well, I, I, I didn't really need Blake to come set that, but. Nice. Set that pick. Roll. Lob City. Oh. Now I'm going to be unstoppable. Because in the other game, it was Triangle. You hold I mean, the last season, it was Triangle, and I never looked it up. Chris Paul. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Why there? Why there, Chris? I'm not going to judge Chris Paul on his actions. Because, you know, he probably, he probably knew what he was doing better than me. So if anybody's watching this, have you guys seen the new announcement that uh, The Rock is going to be in Jumanji. And let's be fair, it's got Kevin Hart in it, so you know it's going to be like average. It's going to be average movie at best. Because you know, like okay, you do, like the Kevin Hart, The Rock movies, they sell out in the box office. Chris Paul, Big Shot Taker. Not this time, Mager. But anyways, what I was going to say is they sell out in the box office. Like a lot of people go and watch it. And they're pretty good. They're decent. But they're not... Fucking fantastic movies, you know what I mean? Like, like the Dallas Buyers Club, the Oscar winner from like two, three years ago. That was a good ass movie. Fucking Kevin Hart was nowhere near that one. You know what I mean? Like, they're like just mild entertainment movies. So, anyways, my point is, I think The Rock should come back to wrestling. Nice pick. Ah, should have been Blake. Nice passing though. Anyways, uh, like you get what I'm saying, right? Like, The Rock's movies aren't that good for him to not wrestle. Cause, like, would you rather be a decent actor? Cause you know he's already made enough money off acting. Would you rather be a decent actor or be world wrestling champion? I'm pretty sure it's world wrestling champion. But the thing is, The Rock is a good actor, though. Like, don't get me wrong. He just hasn't landed. He just hasn't been in a great movie yet. If you, if you count Fast Five, that was an okay movie. It was pretty good, actually. But, like, that's not really because of him. You know what I mean? Like, from like Fast Four was good. Fast Two was good. Fast One was good. Rock wasn't in those. You know what I mean? Like, like it's not because of him that those movies are doing... That those movies are fan. I mean, they're not even that great, to be honest. Fast and the Furious is getting kind of boring. Like, how many times are you gonna do the same shit? Nice board. All right, so I don't know this guy's skills that well. M Maba Amute, Maba Amute. I, I I've seen him, but like. I can see also why he starts over Jamal Crawford. One, he's younger, so like if you give him more time, more minutes, he'll. It's also good for like a young guy's confidence, you know, to start, so he's not gonna come off the bench. And Jamal Crawford, they kind of need him to just be the sixth man. He does it very well. I think the Clips, the like the Clippers, have a good shot of going some way. I wouldn't say all the way. Well, I think they have a good, decent shot of going all the way, but I don't think they're a favorite to go all the way, unless. They can beat, you know, the Warriors. Pretty much the West runs through Golden State, whether you like the Warriors or not. You know. But the Clip Clippers are like the one of the two or three teams, I think, that have a shot at maybe beating them in a series. Because you remember, you know, the Clippers are fourth, right? Or fifth? I think they're fourth. Anyways, but they didn't have Blake Griffin for like a good stretch of the season, so... They would have been like third. And they would have played who? Who was sixth in the West? Dallas? I think Dallas. 
Or Dallas is 7th. Who's second? No, if Dallas was 7th, then San Antonio would be playing them. Chris, Paul, big shot taker. Big shot maker. See me in Vegas, boy. Huh. Um, so, another thing, what I was going to say, and Kevin Hart, like, you know, he's funny, he's not that funny, he's, like, funny in a way that you get used to, you know what I mean? Like, he's, if, if you just saw him, like, if tomorrow was the first movie I ever saw him in, I would think he's, like, one of the funniest people alive. But then after you've seen like ten movies with the same like, he has like this like like the, like his jokes are just like these sarcastic, kind of, not sarcastic but like a like kind of like surprisey sarcastic. You know what I mean? Like he'll say something kind of shocking and then he'll kind of react to it. You know what I mean? Like somebody will say something and he'll like exaggeratedly react to it. Oh what a pass! Dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Oh. Anyways. But I, I don't think he's bad. But I don't think I don't think he's Dave Chappelle. I don't think he's Adam Sandler. I don't think he's I don't know. Uh, I don't think he's even Chris Rock. He's definitely not Chris Rock. I don't think he's. Uh, uh, I I'd say he's like equal to Aziz Ansari in terms of funniness. Except uh, Kevin Hart is more successful. But I think Aziz Ansari has more potential, you know what I mean? Like, he could, there's like this ceiling that he's at. Like, if he could learn to break through that ceiling. It's like, you know, if like a, like a good slashing point guard or shooting guard, like, learns, the, like, he, like, he's good at driving, right? And he's pretty good at what he does. But if he learned how to shoot the three, he'd, he'd add another dimension to his game, you know what I mean? Like, I think Aziz Ansari has that potential. I think Kevin Hart's, you know, like hit his peak at what he's good, where he's where he's at. But he he is funny though. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. So in my rankings of like who who's the best point guard in the league, I'd say Chris Paul, Steph Curry. Uh, because you know. Steph Curry, Westbrook, those guys aren't true point guards. You know what I mean? They're more scoring. Like they, they should really be playing shooting guard, if we're being honest. But Chris Paul, you know, they made a, like the drop, and now he's he's a good passer. Westbrook actually now he's pretty much a good passer. I mean, you know, we can't argue with his triple doubles. But to be fair, he's got fucking Kevin Durant. I could pass him to the wall, and he'd make it. Come on. So I'll, I'll take that back about Westbrook. But Steph Curry is... Actually, Steph Curry is pretty decent at passing. Okay, well, what I like to say is Chris Paul's a better passer. And nobody can argue that. And Chris Paul's more clutch. I don't think I've seen anybody more clutch than Chris Paul besides Kobe and Melo in the league right now. Well, And Kobe's not even in the league right now. I'd say it's Melo, Kobe, and Chris Paul, top three clutch players. And D-Wade. I guess D-Wade. I don't know about D-Wade. I don't know if he's still clutch. He used to be, though. Take it, Chris. Uh. Yo, I'm losing by, like, so much. I always lose these matches, I know this. Because I'm always fucking blabbing. No. Man. Okay, well, I guess this is what happened today. So I guess it's realistic. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.